At times you can find four or five Delanes racing at the Speedway, not to mention all the others working on cars or selling 50-50 tickets. For all of these Delanes, it's more than just racing, it's a way to come together as a family. You used to go out and watch uncles race, cousins race, and it's been a weekly event for 30 years, 35 years, that's in the blood. Kevin and Rick have also taken over for their late father by giving back to the Speedway. Their dad, Al, was a fixture each week at the dirt track since it opened in the early 70s. After his racing career came to an end, he moved over to the pits and helped his boys prepare each week. It, uh, you know, he's hard on us. He, yeah, you have to do good. Just going out there just drive around. Either we're going to do this to win or we're not going to do it. But when things got tough at the Speedway and longtime traditions were left behind, Big Al brought them back to life. From fan appreciation barbecues, a year-end banquet, to selling 50-50 tickets to raise money to help drivers race, Big Al always gave back to the racing community. He always had a points fund, but it was always limited and not much there. So he, the one big thing he did is uh, create the points fund we have now in Winnipeg and to uh, make sure the drivers got something back at the end of the year, uh, whether you won the championship or you finished 10th. That's why when Al passed away a few years ago, the Delane family knew they needed to honor him. The third annual Big Al Delane Memorial Race will bring the best modified drivers in North America to fight for over $20,000 in prize money. We always liked the big shows, two-day shows, three-day shows, whatever it took. Your winner, uh, of the more pressure, the better, because uh, the true best car and driver will prevail in the end. And uh, so I think you'd be very proud of that, uh, that we managed to put this together and do the way that I think that you would have wanted it. Dustin, I want to thank you for coming up here. I, I, your dad told me he was coming.